Hey guys, Jolly and Croft here for a uh, mini mock I made. Um, I I don't have a name for it yet. Um, I'll try to think of one and uh, put it in the title. But um, yeah, this is a uh, small mini mock I made on a 32 by 32 base plate. And um, yeah, so basically, it's on a headland, um, surrounded by water. Here, I'll just move the camera right back, so, give you a 360 pan of it, uh, that's moved, um, we'll cover all the details later, this is just so you get an idea of um, what stuff is happening, so yeah, um, on this side, we can see the, the main entrance, um, well actually this is the main entrance, and we have the uh, gatehouse back here, have this uh, real nice stone wall going around with a waterfall coming down there. There's a, a fresh water supply in there which um, feeds the waterfall, which we'll see later. And we have a massive uh, rock pinnacle that stretches up really quite high. There's a flag on top. Um, there's all the green flags around the place on all the flagpoles. There's one here, there's, one, there's two over there. There's one up here, there's one around that side, and um, there's one just down there. So, yeah, there's a massive uh, rock pinnacle with uh, two little, um, two little uh, rooftops, or towers, on top of it. And around here, we have um, sort of a little church or a chapel on the side with the, uh, sort of, oh, sh shoot, um with sort of the four-sided uh, pyramid roof and then on here we have a crossbow uh, it's actually a minifigure accessory um, but I thought that in the scale when I put that on there it could actually be a very large um, siege weapon so that um, it has its own little sort of view port out here that has a good view out to sea um, coming around the side again we have a little uh, fishing boat down here whose uh, caster's net that's what this is so it's just a oops, just a small little fishing boat um, that you know is getting in food for the um, population up here and yeah this is his um, fishing net in the water so here yeah, around the back we have uh, some more towers on the back of the um, the main castle, and out here we have a uh, little curved, um, yeah, the curved. Oh, god damn it! I'm actually just gonna leave the um, rock pinnacle out of the mock right now, as it's being extremely uncooperative. Um, Oh, whatever, I'll just put it back on for now. Um, see so around the side we have this little sort of lighthouse thing. And then down here we have a bit of action. Um, sorry, yeah, as I was saying, there's just this little sort of curved um, thing with two towers on it. Well, it looks a bit like um, something out of Hogwarts. Um, down here we have a little explosion on the, the dock, which is the main um, area where um, transport would happen on this. Because um, presumably this is maybe built on a, um, a headland where it's quite isolated, so um, a lot of their business would happen by um, sea. And they're actually getting attacked by pirates who have got um, dark red flags on top of their ship. And then um, if I give you a look at the pirate ship, there is actually smoke coming out of the uh, cannons. So yeah. And they're giving a broadside. Um into the dock so yeah it's quite a neat little micro build just down there with the uh, destruction we have another another crossbow um, thing up here with 360 degree rotation so this can cover the sea out here or if they get attacked um, via the land it can also reach across and um, fire down there so we have the dark tan roadway leading through this uh, Nicely detailed um, arch or choke point, really, because the 
enemy couldn't go around the sides, so the enemy has to come through there, which means that um, the the uh, residents can um, set up a defense. Uh, the main gatehouse, uh, after passing through a couple of trees, the path leads up to the main gatehouse. So I'll just show you here. It's a sort of tan box with a brown roof and a brown deck, and then some nice little um, details, and also some details in there. I'll just... Um, yeah, look at that. So it looks like that on each side, which I think is quite cool. It's a um, a one by two brick with a uh, groove in the center, and then a uh, one by two by two window wall piece um, put over the top of it. It's quite nice detail just there. Um, if I can work out how to put this back on, that would be great. Um, okay, I can't work out how to, nope, oh, there we go, okay. And then around here we have this, um, nice, it's basically sandbag style, uh, wall around the side there. Just like that. Hang on. Sorry about that, guys. Um... So here we have the uh, the nice rock detailing all around the headland. Now, um, inside the grounds of the uh, fort or the castle, we have the uh, freshwater spring, the pond, which comes up there, and um, the runoff comes out here in the form of a waterfall, splashes down the cliffs, and we have the um, battlements along the top here. We have the uh, entrance to the castle just in there. Um, we have some more battlements running along here which go up into the towers. We have four towers on each corner of the um, castle. And then down there we have a little statue of... Um, that's a micro figure statue which I got from Lego Heroica Games um, The Forest of Waldirk, I think and then um, up on top of the tower we have the stairwell entrance or exit and then on top is a micro trebuchet 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 <laughs> however you want to say it um, I say trebuchet um, the French catapult siege weapon thing. Um, yeah, there's a massive one on top of the castle, which basically has 360 degree dominance of everything within um, possibly two to three kilometers of the fort. So, um, that's pretty much it for the, um, the micro mock. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, please uh, don't forget to um, leave a like or comment on what you want to see built next or if you have any um, feedback. And uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.